This is the energy vibration reading for the Leah Sun Moon Horizon. Um, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. My apologies for all the people who reach out to me for a reading and um, I was sick and was in this uh, for most telling of um, how, um, removing and your reading were late or haven't come on yet. I've tried to reach out to a lot of people to explain the situation. So, um, it's going to be a week, a strange week for you guys, really. But yet still, it is a week of the hair and the zodiac energy of water. So, strange? Yes, it's going to be for you, fire sign Leods. So, you have the energy vibration, the three of sword. Whatever the situation is, you Leos have the energy of the three of swords. Okay, a heartbreak. You have the energy of a loss. For some people are break for other people okay so let's go and look and see what is happening the number six number six number six is playing a significant role number six and number two number two and number six a portal or opening some of you Leah have to deal with the Queen of Swords so be aware of this woman and um, some of you the six of ones good news is coming in the four of cups you're bringing balance in your life the two of pentacles the two of pentacles is here you're trying to balance out your financial situation there is a judgment call and you have the six of coins a help you're giving help to some people and you have the angman you know you're in a position that you're feeling um, in limbo okay so the energy of the queen of swords let's see what is the energy of the Queen of Swords for you guys? The Queen of Swords. Somebody looking for help from you. Somebody wants financial help. Somebody wants to work with you, be your friend, you know. And um, whatever is happening, your financial situation is going to go be good. It's all about the money in this week. Um, so let's look. Let's see what's happening. Whatever is happening, you're ready and you're focused. You, you know, you have everything set up to, you know, um, you, you know, it's, it's as if your guides and angels are protecting you and you're ready for anything that is coming at you. Um, this situation that you're dealing with, with this um, queen of sword, it is a situation that is a past life situation. It's a karmic situation. It's as if you've known this person in lifetime and lifetime before. Um, you have this as your focus a loss um, the three of swords a loss and as I look at your energy because the number six is playing a vital role and the number two you have six of Pentacles twice so it's like this person came back in your life and you have to help them out financially okay that's the whole purpose of this relationship is that this person wants you to help them out financially okay and okay it's it's this is what the pro purpose of this relationship is all about um, it's not really um, it's that this this woman needs help financial help but I think you know this woman could also help herself but is someone who depends on other people and expect other people to do things for her okay and this is the purpose why this relationship but you're going to bring a hand to it okay but anyway let's look further because um, she's here and she is trying to connect with you but obviously it is for a, a financial reason good news is going to come to you and you're going to start thinking do I do I can I help this person do I have it to help this person is the most important thing that you need to think about okay because it's all about the six of Pentacles is helping someone and by helping someone you're exchanging the energy between um, people but some people will take advantage of you so you need to stand up and that people do not take advantage of you okay then you have the two of um, coins because you know it is you are trying to balance out your own financial situation there's a judgment you know you have been waiting for a situation and there is a judgment it's as if you're waiting for something I'm going to ask what is that anyway on Saturday the star the energy of the star comes up you're going to receive help because you have given so much you have given so much and now 
you're trying to receive help you have the the the, the hanging ghosts um, the hangman twice is in your reading it's there Friday and it's here Sunday and it's all about your financial situation okay so you Leo's need to realize that you can help people but first you need to help yourself first you need to know if you have the money that you can help someone because obviously um, there is this woman who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and she is with you and is friending you because of monetary uh, it's not really true friendship is a monetary help okay so here we are this is the Queen of Sword um, you're going to have to deal with her on Monday um, you'd have to work with her some people you're working with her or it could be a sister it could be a sibling or um, it could be a friend but is it a friend or is just someone who needs you to help her financially out okay this is what is going on so be aware of this um, it can be because I don't see there is absolutely no cups energy here um, it's all about money the only cups energy is here is that you're wondering do I have this money can I help this person because I need to help myself first okay this person is all about looking for financial help from you okay Tuesday you have the six of ones good news is coming in and you know you had you, you had as if on Monday you know you were thinking you feel is this a relation based on friendship or is this a relation based on financial um, you're looking financial help so here you are really looking and really wondering what exactly is going on because um, anyway good news information is going to come to you on Tuesday and then from that you're going to be able to make a decision because the crowning of your week is the four of cups the four of cups is balancing out your emotional your emotional um, self you have the four of cups and the six of Pentacles so whatever is happening you have the energy of the four of cups and the six of Pentacles and you are trying to help people but yet still do not give what you don't have this is the message that I'm getting for you Leo's do not give whatever you don't have it's all about this woman is all about the money it's all about what they can receive from you so it's going to be a week where you're trying to balance out your emotion and your emotional self and your emotional situation but it's all about the money for this person on um, Thursday you have the energy of the two of coins the two of coins came up twice so um, you know the energy of this two of coins is that you're trying to balance out your financial situation and there is going to come a transition in this so the transition that is going to come into this because you're trying to balance in out your financial situation you know you have been there trying to figure it out how are you going to deal with your financial situation and balancing out that sort of a thing on Friday we have a judgment call on Friday Friday it is really a judgment call you have been in limbo and on Friday it's a judgment call and you're thinking is this you know really you're really thinking is this really what you know is this it you know it's a judgment call as if is it money the only thing that is important for you you know you start to think about it this could be um, your wife or this could be your husband who is the who carries the energy vibration of uh, um, the uh, um, Aquarian Gemini or Libra and you're wondering to yourself is this it is this that we're in a relationship only for the material gains and nothing else so on Saturday you have the energy of the six of Pentacles the six of Pentacles is the energy vibration of the star so you have the energy vibration of the six of Pentacles and the energy of the star and whatever is happening um, whatever help you need is going to come into you whatever help you need is going to come into you and all you have to do is pray for this help and pray to heal whatever situation is going through because this is a week you're focusing our break because you are thinking there is no love in this situation there is absolutely no love because it's all about the money it's all about the materialistic gains so 
on Sunday it's going to be a, a, a very strange day it's all about your thinking you're constantly thinking on how you can balance out your financial um, world you're constantly so on Sunday you'll be spending a lot of time trying to figure out how I can balance out my financial world so for you um, um, Leo's uh, um, the energy of money it's all that's all you're thinking about because you're feeling an heartbreak over a situation and that is a situation for the people this is affecting the people who have been in relationship for a long time and this is also affecting the people who were married were married and in a relationship this is really affecting your relationship because obviously your relationship is all about money um, the um, uh, yeah the crowning of your relationship is the four of cups and the four of cups and the six of Pentacles is four and six is ten so this week is going to heal whatever is going on and it's all about your relationship is this week is a week for a marriage couple if you're married and you have a relationship with someone who's of an air sign an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra you are going to feel are broken over this relationship for the rest of the people you are going to try to balance out your relationship Saturday is going to be um, one of your best day uh, Tuesday and Saturday is going to be one of your best days the rest of the week is so it says you are emotionally out of balance with your materialistic world Thursday you have the two of Pentacles and debt and transformation Thursday is as if you you know the money that you had the money that you were saving is finished or the money that you decided on Friday there's a judgment call there's a judgment call you're you're hanging in limbo and there's a judgment call but the judgment call is actually going to go because on Saturday you are going to receive help the six of Pentacles and the star so whatever financial help that you are praying and asking for on Saturday that is going to come in and on Sunday you have the energy of the hangman and the two of Pentacles so whatever that has been transpiring in your life whatever that has been happening in your life especially for the people who are married if you're not married it's going to be a wonderful week because um, Tuesday is going to be one of your best days Tuesday and Saturday is going to be one of your best days the number six energy the materialistic energy money is all that is happening in this week it's all about the money the two of Pentacles the number two energy and the number six energy is going to be your focus number two is duality so you're working on the um, your materialistic world and the love situation in your life but yet still you are working to balance out both of these things okay it's a sort of a, your life is like an imbalance form because when your financial situation is not good your marriage situation is not good this is a karmatic situation you have known this person in lifetime and lifetime before and this is what is happening and it came back up okay so we're moving forward to the wisdom of the Oracle to see whatever is happening and let's see blessings so this week is positive blessings this is blessings something unexpected but good because on Saturday it came up with a six of Pentacles and the energy of the star so blessings is like something unexpected came in for you your financial needs and help if it's not money it's going to be help that come in so you have the six of coin the energy of the star and blessings that is coming in for you so um, this is good I love this card it's one of the best card in this deck also and um, the blessing that is coming in for you is going to be positive victory and success is coming in for some of you you're going to be learning how to deal with certain aspects um, of your life and this is good so blessings something on a um, something wonderful that is unearned and is unexpected grace that is an unforeseen gift from spirit there are moments in life when out of the blue it seems that everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention you feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express it's as if um, 
it's as if the Red Sea parted in front of you. Events come together to vanish your troubles easily and naturally. You know deep down you did not deserve any of it, and yet here you are. This is one of those times. Let ha and gratitude um, for all your blessings guide you now, and this is good. So this is going to be extremely positive. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Namaste until next time. Yeah.